The portal and gatekeeper are two sister logic pieces that can be used together or separately. First, let's discuss portals. Using portals is easy and can be used to create many different fun gameplay effects. First, drag and drop a portal from the logic section of the asset bar on the left into your scene editor. In this case, I'm going to drop this right where the character initially falls when the scene starts. Next, you're going to want to duplicate this portal. So I'm just going to hit D on the keyboard to duplicate this, and I'm going to move this next portal up above here, right about even with where the character starts up in the air. Now, when the character falls and makes contact with this portal, they're going to instantly be transferred to this portal up here. Let's go ahead and preview this and see what this looks like. Pretty cool, right? You can see that the player was instantly teleported through this portal up to the portal here. Let's watch it again in debug mode. If we watch it a couple more times, you can actually see the portal pieces and you can see the character being dropped through the first portal and then coming out the second portal. Now let's have a little more fun with this. Let's take this second portal and duplicate it and let's move it over here. And you'll see when we preview this now, we've actually effectively cloned the character. Let me play that again. Pretty cool, right? Very quickly, let's go over some of the options for this logic piece. So I'll select one of these portals, and over here in the options bar on the right, we have the position, scale, rotation, and all of those work exactly the same as you would expect, the, the same as they do throughout BuildBox. Now, group ID is important. This is how portals in the same scene work together. All of these portals work together because the group ID in this scene for this set of portals is set to zero. If we wanted to have another set of portals in the same scene further down, we would want to issue them a different group ID number, like 2, 3, or any other ID number that's not the same as this group set to 0. Delete Input Object allows us to delete the first character when he enters a portal, instead of sticking around. If we didn't have this selected in our last cloning scenario, we would have ended up with three characters instead of two. Single use limits the ability for a portal to be used just once, and if you uncheck it, it means the portal could be used infinite times. Exit only allows you to designate that a portal is simply an exit, as opposed to being able to be used to enter or exit. And search radius is set to 600 by default, and basically tells a portal how many pixels to search around it to find another portal in its group to interact or send to or from. It's important to note that you do not want to set this too high, as you might inadvertently teleport beyond the current game frame view, and it would usually have unpredictable results for your players. And that's all there is to it. Portals are a great effect that can be simple to use, but give your game amazing effects and abilities. Thanks for watching.